First off, just like to point out that I got GTA 5 on the PC, and that's all I'm going to show because of copyrighted music. Hello everyone, and welcome to Monday? No, Tuesday. Yep, because, yeah. Tuesday, I think. Um, <laughs> essentially, all that I did today was watch streams. That's really it. Um, I woke up and immediately jumped on uh, the last bit of Jeremy's stream. He was finishing up uh, Halo 5, so I joined him for that. Uh, from what I saw, I'll give... Uh, I'm not going to say a review, because I'm probably not going to be doing a review for Halo 5 in a long time. But... Eh? It's alright. I don't think the ending was as good as Halo 4, personally. Um, when I look for an, an, an ending to pretty much any game, uh, is either a great resolve of conflicts, well, I say either, but I actually mean both. Both a resolve of game conflicts and a, I don't know, an, an emotional impact that leaves you thinking, leaves you wondering what's going to happen in the next game. While Halo 5 definitely had the emotional impact, it didn't have a great resolution of game conflicts. I'm not going to spoil anything, but, although I've, spoil, I've probably spoiled a little bit already, um, but it kind of it kind of leaves off in a cliffhanger. I'm just going to say that. So, if you haven't played it, please go play or watch or whatever. Halo 5. It's a good game altogether, but ending, eh. Um, then after that, <laughs> after doing a little bit of housework, a little bit of housework. Um, also, some ambient music here. Woo! Uh, after doing a little bit of housework, I jumped on uh, John Johnson's um, stream where he was doing uh, Undertale. Looks like an interesting game. I've already watched a little bit of Steven play, uh, Steven play it, but uh, get, getting to see a little bit more of it with uh, with John is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely a quirky game. Back to the topic of GTA V. Um, not only have I gotten it on the PC, but it's running at 60 frames a second, and I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> running 60 frames a second, most, um, most of the graphical options are on high, some of them are on very high, um, and it looks, it looks fantastic. It really does. I'm not going to show any gameplay now. Because I may be doing a Let's Play or something of it in the future. I may very well be doing, uh, online videos. GTA online videos. But I don't know what those will entail. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. But yeah, it looks great. Uh, I spent, spent $40 to get it. But it was on sale. I know I'm terrible at keeping money, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wanted to buy it anyway, and I didn't want to pay sixty dollars for it, so I jumped at the opportunity. And not only that, but I also got five hundred thousand five hundred thousand dollars uh, in in-game cash on GTA Online. And I think that's pretty cool. Probably going to use that to buy a new apartment. And or upgrade my cars. Because Jeremy loves to run into the back of my cars. So, yeah. That was pretty much it for today. Very much all I did. Yep. Kind of a lackluster day, I'll admit. But, um, that's going to be it for today. 
Oh, I should show off my room just a little bit because I moved some stuff around. Mainly these two things. Uh, that used to be over there and that used to be closer to my computer. But I moved that over there and put that there. My little webcam. Um, I'm thinking about in the near future um, rearranging my room some sort of way. And... Um, I think this is one of the first steps to doing that. I also really vacuumed and swept the crap out of my rug. Not literal crap, but there was a lot of dirt and stuff. So got rid of all got rid of all that and it looks good. Ching. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you all later.